Hi guys, this is a video demonstration of our Test Electronics Project Box test fixtures, which you can make if you are a circuit board designer. Now these fixtures vary in all kinds of features. Uh, these two middle ones are called edge press fixtures, which they press down the, your unit under test by the edge. So with these kind of fixtures, you have to design both a mezzanine board in the bottom to hold your test pins, and a press plate. And it's kind of hard to do simply because you're going where no man has gone before when you, when you try to do this with your circuit board manufacturer. Uh, basically what you need to do is, here's an example of a test fixture that's edge press uh, designed using a quarter inch FR4 and cut with a mill. Uh, you basically put the board in. This cutout, as you can see, matches this board and when they come together it presses down by most of the edge of the board there's a few places where it's cut past the edge like where this connector is and all that well you've got to make this in a circuit board which means you're gonna have them make a board where there's no traces there's no copper there's no vias uh, they're gonna get all confused where's the traces where's the copper where's the vias and basically you cut out some kind of rectangular hole with a few clearance clearances in it. So that might be hard to do on these two fixtures. Uh, so let me take these out for now and well shoot before I take them out I should just kind of show you how they how they work. You put your your board in here uh, you have an LCD or something uh, and switches mounted up here. Uh, you put your mezzanine board of pins uh, which is a, a thing like this this is actually a, a much larger size board, but it would be reduced to fit in there. And as you can see, you've got pins sticking up here, soldered right in the board. You have LEDs, switches, anything you want you can put in this board. And uh, it just mounts with these four corners and it's supported by, by this edge. Uh, this edge right here. And same with the top. The board goes underneath and it's supported by the whole entire edge. So that's how that works. And this is the same way except it's without the display area. So you would put everything you want on this board. Okay, so that, that concludes the, the edge press. Difficult to make, probably not something you'd really want to do as a first project, but maybe something you would consider later. Now these these only require a mezzanine board for the bottom. The, the press down rods here can be adjusted to however you want. Uh, but this one also, now the four screws are not in these fixtures yet. Uh, actually, this one has the four screws at the bottom that they fall out. There's just four screws in the bottom that hold this to sandwich the, this plastic together. But this, these are molded plastics, project box. Uh, modified with a lid for a fixture and just works like this locks down open you pull it out to open it and it locks down and it's tight and it can't press any farther because there's a thing that stops that too so just drop it locks in uh, this opening here here's a sample of your board your board would not fit in here really it's just big enough, here's your, the LCD display you will have in your board. It's just big enough for an LCD display. Notice they don't trust me with a good one. I'm loved. Uh, but that's about all that will fit in here. Some LCD and some switches and you'll have to design it so that uh, this is good here where, where you have your switches and your beeper but the LEDs up here just make this board too big. They would have to be over here. So if you wanted to use this kind of fixture you'd have to redesign your, your display board. So uh, you probably don't want to do that. That might be another thing you want to do later. So that leaves us with this fixture right here. Now, the way this would work is you would take this board and put it on some standoffs up about this high. And we cut this out for you. and it would end up when this lid closed that this would still be sticking up and when the lid was open this would be about right here 
so you close the lid and it would stick right through here. So that would, that would be pretty good. Just on some standoffs right here, even with the top of this lid, and we cut a uh, relief out of this lid so that you could put that in there. Uh, your interface board uh, would go inside. Oh yeah, this is the one that's screwed together. See, this, this is where your mezzanine board would go. We just have a block of plastic in there. But your mezzanine board would mount here with the test pins. This board would go inside. You could put your RS-232 connectors, your D connectors, mount them back in here so they would protrude out through this. Let me grab another one of these real quick. And I can show you a little better. Here we go. Here's an identical unit, same thing, uh, except this doesn't have the four screws or the back panel installed. So basically, let me get this. You could mount your board so that it's like this with the RS-232 connectors coming out the back panel, which the back panel is this opening here. And when you put it all together, it, it looks like this. So you'd mount your, your, this board in here, uh, make a board, a mezzanine board, that you would put in here, like that, and mount this on standoffs here, and your unit under test would just go right in on here, on the mezzanine board like this, sitting on the test pins, and then these adjust up and down. To, to fit, uh, grab a screwdriver really quick. So basically, all you do, all you would do, is you'd loosen up these two screws, lower these press uh, slides down to a good position here. Put just in the middle. Make sure you're seeing it okay on the camera. So we'd lower it right about here. And you don't, this isn't critical because once you have your, your mezzanine board designed, you just put your board in there and then adjust this as the very last step. But then these press down rods would all be adjusted and these move up and down. You can put them all close together like that and then these can be placed positioned side to side wherever you have a good area to press down on your on your board. And your board would be up here somewhere. And actually, if you didn't want to cut this out, I just now noticed you could you could mount this up here on standoffs because your board is so long and thin. That would work fine too. So this would probably be a good box for you. Um, and they're really super cheap project boxes. And they're good for 500 or 50, 50,000 operations. Uh, that's when this, this latch mechanism will start wearing out. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I suggest. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks for watching.